All right, this is now take three for this video. Um, you didn't see that license plate. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the complaint. The complaint is whenever the person uses the HVAC, there's a vibration that happens inside the dashboard, and it gets worse when you turn the speeds up. So there's something going on with the blower motor. First thing I did was come down here to remove the cabin air filter. And uh, doing that, in doing that, I removed the glove box so I can gain access. There's a trap door right back here. Uh, I don't know if you can get to it with the glove box in place because it's a huge glove box. Um, so I pulled it out because I wanted to do a lot of inspection. <clears throat> but anyway, the cabin air filter is actually bigger than the opening. So you got to squeeze it down in order to get it out. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Talk about uh, 10 pounds of poop in a 5 pound sack with that air filter, if, if that helps you relate. But to get the uh, glove box out, you got uh, screw, 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 screw. Oh, this before we get to the screws, you got to pull the lid off. And the lid, it comes down, and then you can pry it off the, the box with the hinges, because the hinges are u-shaped they're they're just like a, a i don't forget what they call those type of things but it, it's not all the way solid so you can just pop them off and then uh, there's a little hook deal that you have to undo here and on that one and they go into these slots and the lid comes off and then that gives you access to all the screws and then the box comes out fairly easily but looking in there i saw i did see a lot of debris so i knew there's something going on inside there so, which meant I had to take the blower motor off. In order to get to the blower motor, the blower motor on the Nissan Versa, and I'm, I'm noticing this more and more on cars. Now, this is a 2014, and that's about the newest car that I see, um, is they're putting blower motors on this side of the car, and this one is mounted horizontally. So, it will stand back the the blower motor goes in like this and so the blower motor itself is way way up there Let's see if i can get enough light it's way up there okay above that harness okay so now if you can imagine the blower motor has got to come out because you got the big cage right so the blower motor has got to come out but you got a pedal assembly in the way so the brake pedal and the throttle pedal have to come out so let's see if i can do this nicely here all right so <clears throat> you're going to want to take the throttle pedal off first there's a screw here and then a, a bolt here there's a bolt and a bolt and then the electrical connector that disconnects and then the pedal assembly comes right out there's no cables because it's electronic uh, throttle so and and uh, keep in mind make sure the battery or the key is off the battery disconnected before you start disconnecting stuff because you'll set a code instantly if the key is on all right so you get that out of the way and i'm going to move move you over just a little bit because i want you to see the steering shaft so you have the steering shaft here you got to take that bolt out and that bolt out and then you take a hammer and hammer this upward and the shaft will go all the way till it touches the u-joint once you do that the shaft will be free of the bottom or the u-joint assembly will be free of the bottom shaft so then you can slide the whole assembly out and then slide it off the upper shaft okay but put marks yeah you can barely see it but there's a white out mark here and there's a very faint white out mark there so to line them up and then i did the same down here you see there that way i don't have to worry about alignment all right so it's back in place once that's out and you can't see them from this angle let's see if i can get this up in the right angle you cannot see them oh there they are you got to take these two guys out these are brake switches and the cruise control switch uh each one is like a quarter turn and then they pop out disconnect them first and then watch where you where how much they protrude on either switch that way you can put them back in the right spot and don't have to worry about uh, adjustments all right and then once that's done you have four bolts you see one two and then three and then four up there uh, they come out 
but before you do that, you got to take the clevis pin out. So there's a like a cotter key up on the other side there, up there. <laughs> On this side, there's a cotter key, you pull that down, and then the, the pin for the brake arm, the brake pedal uh, for the master, uh, this pin slides out and then that arm releases from the pedal assembly. Then the pedal is free. Then you pull those four bolts out, and then the whole assembly, you gotta wrestle it, but it will come all down. And then, once it's down, they, the Nissan was nice enough to give you enough slack on this harness, this harness has got a lot of plastic keepers that hold it to the pedal assembly. So once you get it down, you got to disconnect all that. Then, once you get that off, then you can get to the blower motor. Now the blower motor has one Phillips screw, and that uh, is like a locating tab, and it's really short. You take that one screw out, then you got to take it. I'm going to go out here so you have a little more room. You can see my hands. You take it with the screw, which is at the top. You take that one screw out, disconnect the electrical connector, and then you uh, there's a couple of tabs. You squeeze them a little bit, and it's a quarter turn, counterclockwise. And then you can slide the whole thing out. Now, what was causing the vibration? Believe it or not, a mouse. A mouse had gotten inside the, the heater box and died on the squirrel cage. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's the... Uh, the deal with this car, uh, 2014 Nissan Versa, and the customers asked me if, because apparently this is not the first time they dealt with a rodent inside the HVAC box. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be taking the wiper cowling off here, and the access for fresh air is a hole. It's about yay big. By about that wide underneath the cowling we're going to uh, silicone uh, some screen material to help uh, uh, de deter the rodents from going in there because apparently this has happened before so that's where we're at and sorry I didn't show you anything but I was on a roll and I decided to put the car back together um, but uh, we will talk to you later and thanks for watching bye